<laughs> Howdy folks, Coffee and Tools. Our story begins with you. You're driving down the road, you know, got a steering wheel in your hand. Oh, we'll throw a little reality in here. Okay, hang on. Uh, okay, you got your cell phone, you're texting, and you're driving down the middle of the road. Lots of traffic around, you know. <clears throat> anyway, the, uh, the wife yells over at you that she just saw a nice piece of wooden furniture on the side of the road. You should go back and pick it up. It's sitting there with the garbage. Okay. So let's take a look at this. You're out in the car. You've got no tools around. You don't have any way to measure or check anything. So you got to just do a visual and a couple tests. So you go back to take a look at the wooden furniture to see if it's any good. Is it, is it real wood? That sort of thing. So today that's what we're going to look at is uh, just measuring up something that in this case somebody threw it out. And like I said, this is a true story. So we have the table. I'm sitting on it right now, as a matter of fact. But we'll take, this is a really good table. We're going to take a look at it, and I'm going to show you about eh, seven tips of things to look for to decide on whether it's, you know, the real thing or if it's just a piece of junk. So stick with me. All right. So, pow, here's the uh, wooden table that I was talking about. Now, first thing, of course, you're going to see a little bit of uh, damage or whatever. It's an old wooden table. But the first question you should be looking at is run up and kind of check for damage, of course. That's not a tip, you know. But you want to look over the table and you also want to look to see if it's straight both ways. So you can get down here and just sort of glance across, kind of like the old pool table days, you know, and look across and say, it's nice and straight, it's not warped. I don't see any real bad damage beyond nicks and scrapes, that kind of thing. Now, it can make a good card table or a it could make a good work table. There's a lot of things that you could do with, you know, a basic, simple wooden table. But what you're really after is, is, a, is a wood. And that last Monday, I measured different pieces of wood to show you uh, what this trick is going to re... This is what falls into question from last Monday. And it's like this. You pick it up. For its size, it's light. Which tells me it's probably real wood. If it was really heavy, I would be thinking particle board and all that, you know, laminated junk stuff that they like to glue together. So the light weight, there's two fingers, okay? Just for an example, it's light, but that says it's probably real wood. So the next thing we want to do is we want to look at the top and see if it's solid wood or if it's a laminate top. In this case, it's a solid wood. So I'm gonna bring you closer so you can have a look at what I'm talking about here and why I said, oh yeah, we're taking this baby home. So the first thing we wanna look at is the grain that's in the table. And there's no uh, duplicate grain. It's like the grain is different right across the whole table. So that already tells me at least the top is real wood at this point and possibly it may not even be laminated it might be just solid wood right through now this type of styling if you can see the blocks in here we call this a butcher block style it's really we could argue that a lot because really it's not you know butcher block would be like you know big thick hunks of, of lumber glued together and this is not this is but this is still what they call a butcher block so we're going to stick with that program and at that point between this and the edge we want to the next thing we want to look at besides this the grain and the, the blocking so we you know it sort of tells us what kind of construction we're looking at we want to look, look at the edge of the table and along this edge right here you can see that it just it's rounded off like it was routered or run through a machine but it's still the same thing it's still a, the blocks of wood are on the end here so there's no change. So there's really a good chance that this is a solid piece of wood. So the tip number two would be to look at the edges of a table. Let's go look at something that's bad. And here's an example of why I look at the edge. The plastic right here is, you know, covering up what's obviously fill or uh, particle board, melamine, whatever you want to call it. Also, notice the grain of this lumber thing is just totally fake. You can tell that there is nothing to do with real lumber when it comes to looking at this top. This was something that somebody created in a machine somewhere, and this is all particle board inside. And to cover that, they put this plastic edging. This table doesn't have that, so this is already a really good sign that I think we're looking at a solid wood table. We sort of take a good look at this uh, butcher block pattern, 
And the next thing to do at this point is to look underneath the table. And if we look underneath, we'll see this same, it won't be the same color because this is stained on top and has maybe a urethane coating or shellac, something on top. But the same butcher block pattern is underneath the table, which is like, yes, you know, that means this baby is solid lumber, solid wood right through. Uh, at this point, you know, I'm still not caring about what kind of lumber. It's probably, you know, a soft wood, not a hard wood, just by the weight. Because soft wood generally, of course, is going to be <clears throat> just lighter, just by nature of the beast. But looking underneath the table and comparing what's underneath to what's on top, that's, an, that's another tip that will tell you whether you have a solid wood table or you have something strange going on. Because underneath, a lot of times, you'll run into a big sheet of plywood or something. And when you see that, you've got a table that's cored and there's no telling what's in at that point. So the next thing to do would be to part the table and look down through the, the leaves on these, these flat edges here. It's the same thing. Again, the manufacturers sometimes put a, you know, flat pieces of uh, something in there to cover what it, the table really is. This table, the same butcher block is still on the edges, still on the uh, leaf here. So you know what you're looking at at that point is solid wood right through in butcher block style. This table could be cut up and reused for something else or it could make a great card table, game table, uh, could be a workbench, uh, you know, whatever you like. I mean, but it's real wood. So, it, you know, it's something that us wood guys can, you know, we can work with and we can develop something out of this. The next thing to look at is the legs on this table. And looking at the four legs, they were all in good shape, but I, the thing was, the grain was different on each leg, which means these have been uh, turned and produced for the table. So somebody did some good high quality work, I actually tell you the truth, in its day, because this is like, like I say, it's a really old wooden table, but the quality work was good. Now let's take a look at those legs. So here's one of the, uh, Here's one of the areas we want to take a look at is this right here. And what we're looking at is, the, is the, the grain in here and there's a knot of the wood still here. And going down through the leg, there is some grain. Yeah, there's some marks and stains and bumps and grinds, whatever. But the, this is solid wood again and it can all be sanded out and repair, re, you know, refurbished if, you're really, you know, if, you're, if your heart so desires. Uh, again, this here, all real wood. So up underneath, I'm going to see if I can show it to you a little bit, but it's kind of hard to see without really good lighting, but let's see if we can th throw some light on there. And I don't know if that's going to work for me, but eh, we'll try some lighting under here. And you can see that it's a butcher block, you know, construction. You can see it right across the whole table. So that told me right there in this particular table that it's solid wood. Also, the runners that they've got here to separate for the, putting the leaf in and out is some, looks like they were probably used to some scrap lumber or something, I'm not sure. But, but again, it looks like good quality lumber, but different kinds of lumber. So they weren't too picky about that. I'd be really curious to see who actually made this table. And it wasn't made probably that long ago because the hardware is all uh, Phillips screws, which again, you can take a look. If they were slotted screws, the table would be much, much older than what this one is. So again, another tip, you know, just look at the screws and the hardware. That'll tell you a lot about the history of this table. This one has some nice locks on it too, where you can actually lock the uh, table together if need be. Now each uh, leg, and I'll come over and check this one out, see? Totally different, again, on the pattern on the leg. And so, again, that's why I'd say all four legs were turned and then made for this table. So, the table has a lot of uh, good potential to be whatever you want it to be. And in this case, I'm using it as a display and a work table and just an extra table for around the house for things. But, you know, this is a great find. Somebody threw this thing out in the trash. It's, what a shame. It's solid. It's real lumber. Crazy. So there's no, uh, there's no reason not to take something like this home, especially if it's free off the side of the road. But my thought was if you're a consignment store, antique store, whatever, and you don't want to listen to salespeople and you want to do your own thing, these are just basic tips to look at. Look at that top grain and just see how the table was constructed out of wood to see if it really indicates it was solid wood. Uh, the biggest thing that has always shaken my world is when you go underneath the table and you look up underneath and see if it matches what's on top. And 
boy, I'll, t I'll tell you, about 90% of the time, it doesn't match. And it tells me right away that, you know, we've got some kind of layers of cores or different, you know, materials used that were compiled in order to create, say, a table. This one here is an excellent example of what a real solid just wood table would, you know, come out like for all these little, you know, things that we check. Uh, legs, same thing. They were turned, they were made. So let's go over real quickly. The table is nice and straight. I've cleaned it up since we dragged it home, of course. There's nicks and scratches throughout, but if we wanted to, say, make this a really nice dining table or something, we'd have to sand this thing down. But because it's solid wood, yes, you can. You can sand till the cows come home, I guess, as they say, because you're dealing with real wood. But you will have to restain or whatever color changes you want to do with it. This was stained. Again, when it looked underneath, you can see the actual original color of these blocks were not anything like what's up here, of course, because the underneath was never stained or treated. So uh, you, could, you could tell that this was a nice, uh, good quality wood, but it was block. It's all just, you know, uh, butcher block type styling. They're probably just glued and pressure, you know, and clamped in place. Uh, before they were cut to create the table. There's probably no biscuits or anything like that in here, but it's still, it makes for, like I said, it's a really good quality solid wood table. It's hard to believe somebody would throw this out, but they did. They put it out with the garbage and my wife spotted it and said, hey, you know, look at that table. And I was pretty sure before we even reached the table, it was like, no, this isn't gonna be, it's gonna be a piece of junk. And when I got up and started checking all these little pointers on this table, it, past everything you know it was like yeah it's a real solid table it's a straight table it's real wood there's you know it's got good hardware it was like man alive you know let's take what i had to do unfortunately i had a car i had to take this whole table apart put it in the car to get it home <laughs> yeah. i didn't have a truck or something with me but uh, this week I wanted to sh just show you this, guys, on uh, Monday. But it's actually Tuesday because we wanted to do all this outside in the driveway and flip the table around and stuff and show you different angles. The weather just said, oh, no, we're going to rain all day. So it's actually Tuesday today, unfortunately. Uh, Thursday, got a quick tool review. And then we're going to give the tool away and do a draw for the tool. It'll be pretty, it's going to be cool. Oh, yeah. It'll be, it'll be a cool tool, as they say. Uh, right now, this table has, you know, another hundred years of life in it because it uh, wasn't burned or, you know, didn't end up getting uh, hauled away by a garbage truck. It was like, God, I don't know. <laughs> but uh, it's it makes for, you know, card table, game tables, uh, work table, or maybe a display, or if you have a yard sale and you need an extra table. You know, it's nice to have these things around. And especially when they're like this, where it's solid wood, it's light. You know, you could... You can pick it up easily. It's not a hard uh, old piece of, uh, I call it, uh, I like to call it uh, malmanine, but I also like to call it uh, fiber wood, uh, glued wood, chips. Uh, we'd call it particle board, I think was really, that's a really nasty name. Anytime you come up with something like that, uh, I'd like to ask in the comments below if you have a nickname for particle board, that would be great. So I'd love to hear it. Again, thank you for watching Coffee and Tools. Please like, share, subscribe, and uh, keep your eyes on the garbage. You never know, something like this, you know, might show up. <laughs> Over and out.